Hello YouTube fam, today's video we're going to start it off by making some dinner so we're going to need queso fresco, some sour cream, some cheese, some eggs, some tortillas, some cilantro, some iceberg lettuce, some onion, two garlics, chiles, jalapenos, tomatillos, and chicken. And we're going to start off by cooking the chicken so we're just going to be adding some water and I'm going to be adding three bay leaves and a teaspoon of chicken broth seasoning and then just let that cook for 15 minutes. And now we're just going to be peeling the tomatillos and the chiles and then we're just going to give them a quick rinse and then we're going to put them to boil. You could add your preference amount of water. I usually add that amount I'm going to show you now and then you could just um, remove some if you want or add some if you want. And in the meantime, we're just going to be cutting the iceberg lettuce into smaller pieces and we're just going to set that aside. We're going to be washing that afterwards. And now we're just going to be crumbling the queso fresco and then we're going to put that in the container. And for the onion, we're just going to be needing a quarter for the sauce and we're also just going to be using two garlics. And now we're just going to be adding that to the blender. The tomatillos and chiles are ready so we're also going to be adding that. I'm also going to be adding cilantro. Cilantro is optional but I like using that. And I'm also going to be adding a cup of chicken broth. And the broth is the one that we cook the chicken with. And I'm also going to be adding a teaspoon of chicken broth. I know it could be gone too soon. I got freedom underneath the blue full moon. Feels eternal. And I'm going to be using this pan for the sauce. And I'm going to be needing one for the eggs and one for the tortillas. And now we're just going to be adding oil to all three of them. And we're just going to be adding the sauce and let that simmer for a little bit. And now we're going to be making sunny side up eggs. You can make scramble or whatever your preference is. 
we're also going to be frying the tortillas. We don't want them too hard like tostadas. We want them soft so that way you could dip them in the sauce and start making your enchiladas. I'm also adding salt and pepper to the sunny side of eggs. And once you're done frying your tortillas and making your eggs, we're going to start shredding the chicken breast. And I just added a little bit more seasoning and I'm just going to use the mixer to shred it. And this is how it should be looking. Now we're just going to start making the enchiladas and I like using this lazy method. I know you could roll them up like adding your chicken in the center of the tortilla and just roll them up but I think this is easier. You could just top it off with whatever toppings you want to add and we're just going to start making everyone's enchiladas and then I'll show you what we do next. And now I'm just going to be adding the pepper jack cheese and I'm also going to be adding the chicken and I'm going to let that warm up for 30 seconds. And once those 30 seconds are up, I'm just going to be adding eggs to it and I'm also going to be topping it up with some iceberg lettuce, some sour cream and some queso fresco and I also added a little bit of more sauce to it and this is how it came out. And we're just going to be loading the dishwasher and washing whatever doesn't fit by hand.
I'm gonna be using Comet just to clean this sink with. And now we're just gonna be deep cleaning my ice maker. I like doing this every two weeks or monthly, but they really needed this deep clean. And now we're just going to be cleaning the counters where it, the machine always sits at and we're also going to be cleaning the wall behind it. Now that that's clean, we're just going to be refilling the water. And now we're just going to be washing the basket and the ice scooper. And 
Now we're going to be cleaning behind the sink and we're also going to be cleaning the counters afterwards. You weigh me, you weigh me down And I'm also going to be wiping down my french fries cutter and we're going to be wiping down the stove. Oh, 
I'm just going to be using my e cloth stainless steel cleaner and we're just going to give that a quick rinse and we're just going to be wiping down the dishwasher and the fridge. And now we're just going to be using my Dyson to vacuum the whole kitchen with and I'm also going to be using disinfecting wipes to wipe down the trash can. Twisted mind game I'll be burned by your flame oh. Ups and downs, no in-betweens Fire and ice, burn gasoline You know I love it You know I love it And we're just going to be heading downstairs And I'm just going to be doing 
another load for my daughter's clothes. My husband had this wood in the garage and he kind of made like a little frame for the washer and dryer. And we were pretty much just testing it out to make sure that the height is good and then later on we're going to be painting it. I'm going to be painting it white but that's in another video but I just wanted to let you guys know because it kind of distracts me now. It kind of gets on my nerves. I have a little bit of OCD so it bugs me seeing that. <laughs> I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Break my heart, just break free. Just let me see your bad streaks. Maybe they'll match my free. And now that we're back upstairs, we're just gonna be cleaning the main bathroom and I'm also just gonna be refilling the oil refills and refilling the hand soap. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice burn gasoline. You know I love it. And for this sink, I'm going to be using the nine elements and the eucalyptus scent. And for the toilet, I'm going to be using the Lysol toilet cleaner and we're going to let that sit while we clean the rest of the bathroom. I'm also going to be using Barkeeper's Friend powder just to kind of help get rid of that little rust that they had going on. My daughter was helping me film this part, so right now we're just going to be using some Windex to clean up the mirrors. Sorry, she keeps moving around. And I do apologize for wearing my robe and PJs throughout this whole video. The night before I had a bad fever and I had like really bad chills. And it really sucked because we were celebrating our 11th year anniversary and I just got sick towards the end. So I do apologize. I wasn't feeling my best to even dress myself and I was so cold so this kept me warm throughout the whole time. And now we're just going to be cleaning the rest of their countertop from their sink.
Okay, I you guys back on the sink. Sorry if she kept moving. But now we're just gonna be wiping down this little cabinet that they have over their toilet. Now we're just going to be moving on to the toilet. We're just going to be wiping down all the surfaces with some disinfecting wipes. You have high expectations. Don't I know that you've explained it? How I should prove myself to you. But I can't when I'm with you. I need to laugh again. But I can't when I'm with you. I'm also going to be scrubbing the toilet with the brush. And lastly, we're just going to be vacuuming the bathroom. And we're also going to be adding scrubbing bubbles toilet gel to the toilet. And now we're just going to be adding clean mats and clean towels to their bathroom. And here's an after shot. And I've been meaning to remove these shelves. I've always wanted to paint them black and the ones in the bathroom as well. So we're going to be removing them and we're going to be spraying them with a black matte paint. And this is the color I'm going to be using. And now we're just going to put them down and we're just going to spray them. But I'm going to be them, like moving them a little bit more centered because I didn't want to get paint on the floor. So that's why we're using these cloths to catch all of that. I was just busy with
And then I'll be showing you how they came out. I only showed you the ones from the restroom because the ones from the room they weren't dry yet. So I'll show you that in the next video. And this wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.